Hey guys, good morning and welcome to day five of the Boxing Week sale. So today is the second last day of the Boxing Week. So we're just going to really quickly, I'm going to scroll through um, the offers and just draw a few things to your attention. And um, then at the end, I just have a couple of things I wanted to remind you about before we get too close to the end of the week. So as every other day, the five um, COVID stamps are there. Um, and then, like I said, the offerings are pretty similar, like same type of thing, just kind of they've changed the theme up and try to group some things so that they coordinate together. So I'll kind of just try your attention to those as we go. So the um, cardstock color today is saffron. The uh, black and white album from uh, the story by Stacy is in there. And so this is just the album cover and you can create your own six by six inside. So you don't have to get the actual rest of the bundle that's included in that. And so this is a great another option on top of the six by six everyday life covers. Um, so then there's the blush shimmer ribbon and then the Christmas theme thing today is the cedar and pine. So they have the scrapbooking workshop and the card making workshop. And that's why the saffron cardstock is in there because it's one of the colors that coordinates with it. Um, then there's like the usual, well, not the usual, a mix of stamp and thin cuts. So like the wild and free, this was super popular when it first came out. And I think that people haven't noticed that it's still sitting there online um, in the online only section. And then, so even though some things are retired, if we still have them in inventory, they do sit in that um, online order, online only section. So always make sure if you're looking for something themed to look in there too. Like there's great birthday stamps and stuff in there that I think that people forget that they're there. Um, but we still have them in inventory, so you can still purchase them. So um, the Berry Christmas card making stamp and thin cut is in there, and the Berry Christmas scrapbooking stamp and thin cut are in there. So those are from a couple of years ago from the Berry Christmas, but you could totally update them and use them with any Christmas theme. Comfort and joy, scrapbooking and card making. The majestic holographic paper is in there. Love holographic paper. Um, and then the comfort and joy picture my life cards are in there. So that's left over from this Christmas. So if you grab some of the other stuff, like the paper or the scrapbooking um, workshop and want something to add just a little bit extra in there, the PML cards are always nice just to do your journaling on or um, tuck into um, a page just as a little added um, decoration. And so there's some Halloween stuff and then um, some of the extra pieces from the So Much Happy, but they're just bright and cheerful. Um, so there's the washi tape and then the puffy stickers, puffy, and they're kind of like just primary colors. So they're great to just tuck in with other things. So the stitch lattice background is there for um, card fronts. Um, and as I said the other day, like the, um, all the card fronts are awesome. Okay, and then one of my all time favorite thing cuts is in there. If I haven't talked you into purchasing it yet, um, it is for sure one of my favorites. So that favor box, I use it all the time. So um, I made Christmas ornaments with it. I think it was last year or the year before. Um, so they were like in a little four pack there. Everything's on my blog. So if you want to see any of the photos of those, they were really cute. I made like a snowman and, um, there was even one that was look, I made look like a Christmas tree with, um, uh, fringed paper. Um, there it's great. I've used it to make an advent calendar, um, for Christmas and for Valentine's day. Um, they're just, it's just a nice thin cut to have in your stash for whatever. Um, a big thank you 
card fronts, the stitched ovals. I would recommend anybody that is using thin cuts to have like some of the basics and you can't get much more basic than a stitched oval. So the shimmer brush today is the mint. The wisteria ribbon is there. Um, something fierce puffy stickers. Puffy stickers are super cute and they just kind of add, they're cute and then they add just a little bit of dimension onto your project. So that's always fun. And um, then the Cedar and Pines compliments and paper packer there. And so remember there were a couple extra stuff up at the beginning. Okay, so all these little um, country animals and thin cuts are in here. They were super popular when they first came out. And I think that people forget that they're there, but they're also just nice to um, tuck into something and they're an awesome price, right? So it's just, if you have like, um, lots of people have like an animal that they love the most, grab the animal you love the most. Uh, Queen Bee stamp and thin cuts, the baby animals. Okay, the Workspace Wonder um, Tool Caddy. I think I have four of them in my office. You could see, oh, right there i have one that has all my shimmer brushes in it sitting right here um and then there's one sitting on my desk right in front of me that has like literally a little bit of everything in there um and then i have one that sits on like my office desk that has all my pens and stuff in it so uh they are uh they're super well made and so I never worry that um, they're going to crack or fall apart. They're awesome. Oh, look, a second set of holographic paper, the dreamy one. And then um, they've been putting the how-to books in here. So if you don't have them already, grabbing them when they're in like a flash sale like this is kind of nice. It gives you an introduction into um, what they're all about. So this is the volume four. And you just slide those into like a everyday life album or binder. Or if you don't want to do that, even just throw binder rings on them and keep them somewhere. Um, the cross stitch love stamp and thin kits. We are coming up on Valentine's Day again. It might be nice to grab something to uh, do beforehand. The small and medium water brush. I really like the water brushes. Um, I use them all the time. Uh, in watercolor paint or with my watercolor pencil crayons. You guys see me do it all the time where I use them in my ink pads. So yeah, there is the Cedar and Pine stamp and thin cut. That's super cute. And then we're gonna, I, we're gonna move on to timber. So there's a stamp and thin cut, the card making workshop and the PML cards. I think that's it for timber. Again, same thing. Um, people ask all the time for more masculine themed things. Well, there's three things sitting right there. The PML cards, you could use them on scrapbooking pages, turn them into cards, um, all sorts of things. So um, don't overlook the PML cards. They're just a nice little addition. The Hooray Today Thin Cut, which is actually huge. So this is a good time to get it when it's on sale. Uh, okay, so beautiful day, the stamp and thin cut. I loved this whole, all of the blue sky stuff when it came out in the spring. As you can actually see behind me, there's tons of it. So the pinwheel, there's a wreath that I made with the pinwheel. There's a couple of samplers up behind me also over here. Um, I used them on scrapbooking pages. They were great to add into all sorts of areas. And like it's on sale for $13.50. It's a nice little um, thin cut to have. Then all the parts of the blue skies are there. So there's the paper and sticker sheets. There's the paper pack. Then there's the cut above kit. So the cut above kit, really you just they give you everything. You just follow the directions and put it together. Easy as that. And I, I do believe there's two two-page layouts in that one. Oh, and then there's another piece of timber, which is the card-making stamp and thin cut. 
And then um, these are my people, um, the paper pack and stickers. And then who doesn't need page protectors? So the value pack for the page protectors is on sale. So that's always nice. Like the side loading were in there the other day. And then today they've got the um, top loading. Okay, so before we go, I just wanted to draw your attention to a few other things. So as I said the other day, if you're gonna place an order and you're not already, this is the end of the promotion to get the extra credit into your Close to My Heart bank for becoming a VIP. So the extra credit expires at the end of this month. So I just wanted to talk about the VIP program for a few seconds. So the way it's working is you purchase basically your membership into the VIP program. So you pay $45. And right now you're getting $30 of credit into your Close to My Heart account. So in the back end, when you um, go and check out, you can see what your credit le level is sitting at. So right away, if you sign up before the 31st, your credit is $30. So really it's costing you $15 to join. And then you get credit for each purchase that you make through the program. So you earn 15% of every purchase that you make before taxes and shipping. So that gets put into that same account. Um, if you qualify each month, you, you can receive a free stamp of the month. So as long as your purchase that month qualifies, then your stamp of the month is free. You don't pay for it even at the discounted rate. Um, they're doing exclusive specials throughout the year um, and then $20 when you sign up. So that's the regular one. So they're just about to release, I'm sure you've seen it already, but they're just about to release the first exclusive event for VIPs. So that is happening in February, but the product bundle will be released January the 1st. So really there's not a better time. So you get an extra $10 into your account and it's, so it's only costing you really 15 if you think of it that way. And then you earn credit every single time you purchase as long as it qualifies. So I just wanted to kind of remind you guys before we hit the end of the month that for the extra $10 in VIP credit, this is the end of that. It's still a program going forward as of January 1st, and it's still a great deal no matter how you look at it. Um, just that extra little bit of credit will change to just the $20 level. Like I said, it's still a great program even at that price. The other thing I just wanted to draw your attention to is that we are in the last couple of days um, from the current idea book. So, we still have annual that's good all year, and then the two month idea books. So the November, December um, idea book is almost finished and we're getting a new one. I did notice that all the new catalogs, so the January, February idea books are going in the orders as they go out, so that's exciting. And yeah, so I just wanted to kind of remind you that today, um, because it's kind of sad when somebody puts through an order and then I say, oh, you should have joined the VIP program and they haven't. Um, so, yeah, why not earn some credit for free? And that's, it's been very interesting to watch people use their credit because everybody uses their credits in different ways. Some people use it every single time that they, um, per like on their next purchase. And then some people save it up and, um, get something big. So I hope you guys have a great day and uh, we'll see you tomorrow with tomorrow's specials. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.